Welcome to the big board. <clears throat> rusty blade. Something like a rusty blade to open a uh, package you've been waiting for for quite a while. A game that you've been thinking about getting. I really need to buy some more <laughs> Stanley blades. Stanley knife blades. For some reason I just always forget to. I do know this is extremely well packaged. So you're going to have to bear with me. There's layers and layers of brown paper. But I think it'll be worth it. Now, I certainly wouldn't do this for just any game. But, you know, the man who sent this to me likes to take care of his prized possessions. <clears throat> so, now that I know there's protection there, I can just do this. This. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to send my buddy some more money. This is uh, really extremely well packaged, and I recall buying some games from him in the past for equally well. Wrapped and protected. <clears throat> Bought a new PC a couple of years ago, and I was using this to cut, um, you know, some elastic ties and stuff like that. And uh, because it was the same blade, uh, and it was rusty back then, it's rusty now. I actually, it actually cut through and released very quickly, and I nicked. The LCD screen. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Uh, that's what you get for being a dumbass like me. Let's see if I can work out how to get this off here. Without doing any damage to anything. How did he get this in here? Son of a gun. Okay, this is a box. All right. Now I've got to be a little more careful because I can see the, the base of the box. I don't believe it's in shrink. I just think it's... Uh... This has three layers of cardboard protecting it. You're a good man, sir. I don't know where he gets all packing materials from. It's 
Who wants to do an unboxing? I think I might come back and do the unboxing in a little while. Maybe we'll just do it now, I don't know. Really need to buy some, buy some blades. You may be wondering, you know, <clears throat> Kevin, why? Why did you buy this? Why did you buy this game that retails for $425? And why did you buy the Decision Games version? You know how bad their rules are and their reprints are and their reimaginations of games are. Well, <clears throat> I've done a fair bit of reading on this particular system. And it's been out long enough now that there's an, oh my God, there's been an ardent group of supporters and fans that have, uh, that's heavy, that have reorganized the rule book into a help file, uh, got everything organized, added some errata, collected all the errata from uh, Consume World. And unfortunately, the designer is now uh, deceased. He, he passed away recently, I believe. And so whatever was in his head about how this was supposed to work is now gone. But I think there have been enough people who played it, tried to play it, tried to play it and abandoned it, abandoned it that they have now kind of worked out some, most, hopefully all of the kinks. And while it's still a ridiculous endeavor... It's something that uh, I'm not planning on playing in the immediate short term. Though I may set up a very small scenario just to kind of work through the, uh, some of the rule systems and, and get my head around the concepts, if I can, and, and then uh, table it for a play uh, on my magnet wall <clears throat> and... And just do it at, le at, le at, le at, le at leisure. I was going to say leisure, but that uh, would be the American pronunciation. So uh, that's why I'm curious about it. I just like to see at this grand scale just how it all plays out and what might have happened, what could have happened. You know, maybe it's completely ahistorical. Who knows? Maybe... Maybe the Japanese can't get as far as they did. Maybe they'll get too far. <clears throat> Maybe the Americans won't uh, turn up like they should have or been as effective as they should have or the torpedo ratings will be wrong. Who knows, right? <laughs> but we're going to have a little bit of fun with it and try it out, play a little scenario. And then, like I said, at some point in the future, in the next you know four or five years, assuming I uh, don't pop off this mortal coil... I will uh, set up the campaign and play it. And I may invite people over to play with me, but uh, I will probably play it alone and write it up in its own separate uh, little section on my blog. And we'll just take our time with it and enjoy it and get what we can out of it. So let's have a look. Let's see what, the, what all the fuss is about. And uh, funnily enough, I'm drinking a paper plane here. And I'm unboxing a box of cardboard plants. There's the box art. Pretty evocative. It's a nice look. Back of it's got a big description. Let's see what the back says. Let's see if there's any tongue in cheek descriptions. Huh. Four rules booklets, two chart booklets, seven 34 by 22 strat maps. 24, 11 by 17 tacticals. And in fact, there are now some uh, additional tactical maps uh, eroded that uh, have been released. I don't know, I think there's four or five of those. Complexity, four. It's only a four, guys. How hard can it be? Solitaire suitability, absolutely almost zero. And that's okay. Uh, we have managed our way through many, many, many games in the past that were uh, not solo friendly. So let's uh, flip this over. This also includes the expansion. 
campaign against the Imperial Japanese. And he's even got packing on the inside of the box. As I say, pa packing inside the box. So uh, let's let's maybe just pull out all the all the items and see what's inside. Lots of packing material. It's wonderful. Oh, uh, here are the counter sheets. Uh, wrapped up by him, by the looks of it. A yellow culturally inappropriate or cultural appro uh, culturally appropriated colored dye that probably would not roll if it its life depended upon it uh, you know some other dice and a massive swag of bits so I'm not even sure where to start with this I'm gonna move the camera a little bit <clears throat> let's maybe uh, Let's maybe have a look at, unwrap and have a look at the counters first, what do you say? That was actually a thoughtful idea to wrap these counters up. I appreciate that very much. These counters, I'm going to say <laughs> right off the bat, look kind of thin, but we'll, we'll get into quality issues as we start playing with them. Yeah, these, these are. But maybe Vassal will be my friend. That would be a shame. Okay. My understanding is there's something uh, in the order of 9,000 counters plus the expansion counters. What does that sound in the back of the box here? Yeah, 8,960 plus the expansion counters. So, there we go. Um, you know, I'll, uh, I'd say these are... But I, these are thicker than the, the TSWW uh, counters. They have less flex in them than that, but they're, they're not much thicker than that. And I no doubt imagine that this is a, a weight consideration. So let's hold these guys up and have a look and get them up the right way. I don't even know what the icons mean. These are ships by the looks of it. Indeed. These numbers are most excellent to read. I'll come and zoom in for you. There you go, you can see those there. These are obviously all Japanese ships. Interesting. Now the color washes out. I'm just looking at the camera now as I'm leaning over. These are a vibrant, rich yellow color. Not at all this sort of brownish looking thing. There, there you can see the, the color a little better. So Japanese ships, <clears throat> pretty old Japanese Navy. Uh, I guess all these are upside down, so let's turn it around this way. Uh, just various information counters. I find this font uh, a little bit of a challenge to read, and maybe it's the lighting. Let's, uh, when in doubt, add LCDs, right? Okay, now these are general, I believe these are the general counters and the leader counters that are available. There, yeah, there you go. There's Halsey, Nimitz, etc. Right? Okay, this is going to be so interesting. I wonder if I'll ever get this done. This would be fabulous if I did. All right, there's a lot of counter sheets here. Uh, Here's uh, some American slash Commonwealth flags, Japanese flags. Task force count. These are task force counters. That's what they look like. The colors are pretty nice, I gotta say. Training weeks. More task force counters, probably for the Japanese, I imagine. Yes, this is published 30. Wow, look at that. Copyright 2006. 13 years ago already. I'm playing an ancient game already. It feels like this thing came out yesterday. Okay, command point markers, all sorts of good stuff. Magic, I guess that's going to do with uh, decryption, bits and pieces, intelligence, infantry units, and then a curious choice for artwork there. Can you see that here? Let's see if I can pop that down there and zoom in on. I just find it interesting that they Go with all these NATO symbols and the info counters get very uh, artistic. 
Uh, I just touched the counters to try and focus. Transportation, all sorts of good stuff. More infant. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these ground forces. Oh my goodness. Look at that bad boy. These are divisions. I'm guessing this has got to be for the China War. Cause here. But oh, there's regiments, regimental breakdowns. Great, of course. You gotta have regimental breakdowns. Engineering battalions, brigades. Wow. What do we got here? Looks like we've got to twist it around again. Turn it around again. Hmm. I'm not sure what these counters represent. I've had a look at most of the. I've already got the rules downloaded online and all that sort of fun stuff. So I don't recognize those counters, so I can't make much comment. Uh, these. Yeah, these all still feel the same weight. AA. Some various cadre ratings and damage markers and search chits, things of that nature. That's the same. That's a repeat. That's a repeat. That's a repeat. Wow. And then more and more and more and more for both sides. Whoa. What are all these? These, are have, these have to be... Uh... Yeah, these are operable, inoperable. Uh, these are, looks like flights of, and these are aircraft counters. Okay, that's what they are. So a wide variety of hard to distinguish aircraft counters. Once again, with a, a little bit of a murky font, yeah, bow fighters there, Jake's, Kate's. If you guys can see those well enough, I am. I'm, I'm trying to look at these fellas and. Uh, and uh, and share but i can't see what i'm showing you just because the angle i'm sitting at for some reason because i'm a dork naval naval aircraft i guess different carrier groups carrier air groups now the u.s navy navy hmm once again lots of detail Lots of counters. I mean, I've never showed you the back, but there's uh, the backs of uh, the counters. More ships. Weather. Here we go. Look at that. Weather markers for each map. When sections on the map, no doubt. Yep, three sheets of those. Markers on the back. Right, so a lot of stuff, right? I, I, I hazard to count the counter sheets. I forget how many that said it was, but that's a lot of the counters. That includes the expansion stuff. The rule books, 